right, let's look at this problem <clears throat> where we have two cars that are going around uh, this curve. You know, notice it looks like it's a, a circular path. Also, anytime you see, you know, any radiuses of curvature, that's a real red flag. Hey, they're in a circular path. You might have to consider their normal acceleration. Okay, so it says, determine the maximum speed for each car if the normal acceleration is limited to 0.88 Gs. So G is the acceleration due to gravity. Um, the road is unbanked and level. So we know that normal acceleration is V squared over rho. So let's look at car A. Let's look at car A. All right, well, I know its normal acceleration is V squared over rho. And so if I'm, I'm already told that its... Um, norm acceleration is 0.88 g's, so 0.88 times 9.81 um, meters per second squared. I think units should work out here if everything's in meters, meters per second, meters per second squared. All right, so on the left-hand side, I have 0.88 g. On the right-hand side, I have v squared, and v is what I'm looking for, divided by rho, the rate of curvature, 16 meters for that um, car A. So, you know, just doing a little bit of math, solving for that. Velocity of A, 11.75 meters per second. That's its maximum speed that will give it an acceleration of 0.88 G. Now car B, uh, maybe, maybe can go a different velocity because it's going at a different rate of curvature. It's kind of going on the outer loop. All right, I know um, acceleration is still, normal acceleration is still V squared over rho. So if it gets up to 0.88 Gs, what can its velocity be? Its radius of curvature is 21 meters. So here, velocity of car B, 13.46 meters per second. So did it make sense that the velocity of car B, it could go faster um, and not exceed that maximum acceleration uh, because it's going at an, a, a larger radius of curvature, right? It's, if something's going around a sharp curve, it's going to have a really high um, acceleration because the radius of curvature is in the denominator. So a small radius of curvature in the denominator uh, would increase normal acceleration. But if you're going around a big loop, um, you don't have as much. Uh, so two cars... Uh, the one going around the larger loop can go faster um, and not exceed that, um, that maximum normal acceleration.